this is a public meeting of the Berlin Conservation Commission occurring via Zoom webinar on March 3rd, 2021, starting at uh, 7.04 p.m. As a preliminary matter, please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other participants may be able to see you. Take care not to screen share your computer or show that you are tanned. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Um, confirming <laughs> member access, this is John Aney, Chair of the Berlin Conservation Commission. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons that participated on the agenda are present and can hear me prior to calling, blah, blah, blah. So um, when I say your name, say I or here or something. Carolyn? Here. Walter Bickford? Well. Muted. He's here, but he's, he's muted. Here. Yeah. And okay. Liz DiChiara. Here. Steve Beard. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Louise <laughs> Janda. Here. And Robin Berry. Here. Oh, I think Walter's unmuted now. Okay. Walter. Here. I. Great. There you go. Uh, Holly will not be able to um, accompany us this, tonight. Uh, she's not feeling well. Um, there's several anticipated speakers on the agenda, including Brian Waterman of WDA Design Group concerning the River Bridge project, um, also uh, concerning an NOI on Allen Road. There may be some or all of the following, Kevin Mark, Steve Sears, and Mike Sawyer. And then also, we, I think we're expecting Alex Para uh, concerning the um, Highland Ridge homes. With a quorum of the Commission President, I will call this meeting to order at 7.05 p.m. Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. This open meeting of the Conservation Commission is being conducted remotely consistent with the Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, almost a year away, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. Specific information and general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with the right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the Berlin website at www.townofberlin.com. Uh, in order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we've been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of the public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely provided reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. While no in-person attendance of members in the public is permitted, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means in that event that we are, in the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post on the town's website an audio or video recording, transcript or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. The standard public comment portion of this meeting will accommodate limited public comment. This meeting, the Conservation Commission is convening using the Zoom platform as posted on the agenda, identifying how the public may join. Uh, meeting materials. Public is encouraged to follow along during this meeting. Uh, materials will be shared, screen shared um, during presentations. Um, and um, supporting materials that are available this evening to members of the Conservation Commission can be made, can be made available to the public by request. Okay. The meeting ground rules, uh, please remember to request recognition before speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. Uh, and concerning public comment portion, to the extent that our technical capability allows, public comment will be permitted during the public comment portion of this meeting as follows. Attendees, phones, and other devices will be muted unless and until they raise their hand and are recognized by me to speak. I ask each member of the public who wishes to speak to identify their name, and I will afford each speaker time to ask a question and make a brief comment. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by a roll call vote. And that is that. All right. Is this a recording? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's up in the top left corner of your screen. You'll see it's recording. All right. Um, where, where was I? Minutes. Open these up. Screen share these babies. Everybody can see? Yep. 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 yep I got my glasses on. February, minutes of February 17th, 2021, meeting opened at 7.00 p.m. John opened the meeting by talking like he just did. Um, 
Of all call attendance was taken with the following results. Attendees, John Amy, Chair I, Walter Bickford I, Steve Beard I, Liz, Liz DiChiara I, Louis Jean de I, Robin Berry, co-host I, Carolyn McDonald, co-host I. Other attendees were Holly Kennedy de Grudela, um, the uh, CONCOM associate, Peg Stone of the Berlin Select Board, and Margaret Nardowitz, the town administrator. Um, minutes of the February 3rd, 2021 were reviewed and edited. Liz moved to approve the minutes with minor edits. Steve recorded the motion, second of the motion, which passed by a roll call vote with the following results. Everybody said aye. Uh, Treasury report, no report funds, no report on the funds available uh, to budget reconciliation. Robert McPorsche has continued to work with June Pollard to reconcile the budget report, discuss what has caused the discrepancy and how to avoid any differences moving forward. Three, uh, no bills and forms were submitted for- um, I'll, fit, I'll forget a correction if I can interrupt, Sean. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's June Poland. Oh, right. I actually didn't. I right, I think I said that. Put an N for Poland. the R. No, you. Yeah. Replace the R with an N. Sorry. No, no thanks. Um, I think I said Poland. Anyway. Well, um, yeah, I know. I just yeah, the autocorrect to play the trick on you. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Um, mail notices Tolman property. John reviewed the email from Treasury Tax Collector concerning the north side of the Tolman property on Walnut Street. That part of the property has been brought by bought by Berlin Soda and Gravel, who has paid back taxes. There's no the other side of the property has a for sale sign on it. Um, clean up the site might be taking place. Um, MEC annual meeting, March 6, 2021, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, there's a MACC virtual meeting. Um, I think I forwarded the email. Uh, email, um, the MACC is looking for 30 municipalities to take part. And there is a, there are door prizes. Um, appointed volunteers handbook, John reviewed some of the information in the handbook and commented it was a useful reference. Great Oak Farm. The owners want to put an addition on the barn for the farm manager and want an opinion from the CONCOM if that is allowed under the CR agreement. The CONCOM agreed that it is a Board of Health building permit issue, not a CONCOM issue if nothing happens in the CR part of the property. Five, Solomon Pond Mall mitigation check. The town has received the sign receipt of the certified letter sent to Solomon Pond Mall, but no payment has been received as of this date. Um, wetlands. Um, uh, nothing really from Highland Ridge, Hunter River Road. John reported that emails between of on the emails between Dave Burke and Dave, a point of Beals and Thomas, who are working on resolving the wetland issue on the property. The owners have not made any progress in cleaning up the site. No updates on Down Road and Allen Road. Um, oh, I hate that. Um, new, new business open space recreation plan. Carolyn reported that the open space recreation plan part of the Berlin master plan has been accepted by the state and is valid for 10 years. Copies of the plan will be forwarded to the town. Town website, the webmaster for the town website has moved away, so each board will be responsible for keeping their website updated. Margaret Nardowitz, town administrator, will share the training video and training manual with the CONCOM. Uh, old business wetland bylaw, John reported that he had submitted the proposed wetland bylaw article to be included in the warrant for the annual town meeting on Mar May 3rd, 2021, COVID-19 restrictions permitting. Uh, B. John report on researching that other towns have written the, on the appeals process and put together a revised policy based on the discussion at the February 3rd, 2020 CONCOM meeting. The CONCOM reviewed the changes in the appeals process as written by John. Several edits were made. Walter moved to approve the final appeals process language. We second the motion. The vote was not taken at this time. Um, D. Walter then moved to change the 25 foot no touch policy to 35 feet. Let's second the motion. Change use. Second, the motion to allow for discussion of Walter's motion. After discussion of the motion, a roll call vote was taken with the following results. John, no. Robin, no. Steve, no. Walter, yes. Liz, no. Louise, no. Carolyn, no. E, John restated Walter's previous motion to accept the wetlands bylaw from the February 3rd, 2020 meeting. It's placed John move that we accept the draft of the wetland bylaw with the edits just made at this meeting. Carolyn second the motion was passed for an unanimous roll call vote. John will submit the edited article to the select board. Carolyn reminded the members that a public hearing needed to be held to inform the residents of the wetland bylaw article to be voted on the annual town meeting, part of the town meeting. Tegstone will look into the time, town, time requirements and report back to the CONCOM. Conservation agent John reported a meeting with the finance committee to, represent, to present a proposal for a Berlin conservation agent. The finance committee made suggested some revisions, very poorly the 
of the Finance Committee volunteered to work on the revision. Boundless Adventures RDA, John reported that the updated RDA request sent by Shannon Clancy of Boundless Adventures reported on. Okay. Um, since the site plan she submitted was dated 2017, John requested that she made an updated plan to verify the proposed work is outside the limits, et cetera. Um, homes at Highland Ridge CR, the developers of homes at Highland Ridge have agreed to accept the SVT conservation monitoring plan as requested by the CONCOM on the February, at the February 3rd, 2021 meeting. The, the updated map of existing trails on the site has not yet been submitted. Riverbridge COC, John reported that a site visit to, ter to determine if all the COC OOC conditions have been met, but was not possible since the ground was still covered with snow. This will be discussed at the March 3rd, 2021 meeting. Land acquisition discussion on land acquisition postponed to an executive session to be held at the next CONCOM meeting on March 3rd. Pegstone was select board cautioned the CC not to count on the 2020 um, mitigation. John, plan. back. Sorry, back on the Riverbridge. Is it COC or OOC, or is it right that it's two different things? It's two different. It's right. It's actually correctly stated there. Okay. So, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Land management snowmobiles. Dan Simpson of SVT emailed that more snowmobile tracks have been at the unposted entrance of the 40 Ks area. We'll throw a follow up on this issue. Community Outreach Earth Day 2021, Louise asked if the CONCOM wanted to do a spring Earth Day given the possibility that COVID restrictions would still be in place. The CONCOM agreed that a spring cleanup was better than one in the fall. Peg Stone volunteered to present the plan to the select board at their next meeting and will arrange for the CONCOM to meet with the select board. Steve moved to adjourn the meeting um, for the second the motion which passed by a unanimous, unanimous roll call vote. Meeting ended at 8.27 p.m. Minutes recorded by Louise Shonda and John Amy. Other thoughts? Well, I think ready to move, move to accept the minutes. Second. Third. All right. Uh, yeah, there was really one, only one correction. With one yeah. correction. Good job. Um, yep. Uh, so roll call vote. John, aye. Carolyn? Aye. Liz? Aye. Louise? Aye. Walter? Aye. Steve? Aye. Robin? Aye. Cool. All right. Um, treasures report. Are you ready, Robin? Yep. So as of January 31st, um, our budget amount is $876.35. The wetlands fund is $11,432.97. And the open space fund is $186,725.58. And the 50 bucks from um, Solomon Pond hasn't come in yet. Nope. I was just in the mall picking up a gift card and that is a sad place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. There's like, n there used to be some decent stores there. A lot of them pulled out. It's like really like no name stores there. Now I'll be surprised if that mall's still there in five years. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's, there's nothing worth going in there for really anymore. What a beautiful habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. What to I mean, I have to call Margaret about a, a different issue, so I'll, I'll ask her if she knows of any update. Um, All right. I mean, the reality is Simon still has the oh, obligation to the. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, Peg go ahead. <laughs> Peg wants to talk. Okay. Um, yeah, should be. Thank you. Yeah, John, just to uh, follow up, I had asked Margaret on Monday. Yep. Uh, where the 50000 was, it has not come in. I had asked her for next steps, and they will be pursuing a certified letter from council to Solomon Pond. So again, you know, like last week, I caution you not to yep. put 50000 into any type of budget because who knows if it's coming in, how much is coming in, or when it's coming in. Got it. But Simon still does have the obligation of the last five, six or seven payments, right? 
Absolutely. But, you yeah. know, I don't know, um, you know, as Robin was saying, I don't know with the mall, if they'll come back, you know, with anything, it's, it's hard to say what their hand uh, will sure. show until we get any type of correspondence back from them. We've sent them certified letters, they've signed for it, and it's just radio silence. Right. Bummer. Yep. Thank and you, Peg. Your taxes are paid, right? True. Is that true, Peg? Uh, Whoop. You just yeah. unmuted yourself. Muted. I mean, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. You know, I can oh. ask um you know where they are i know that they're watching the mitigation funds to come in from highland commons as well so everything's just a cat up in the air as we move through budget land all right well highland commons is doing pretty well every time yeah. i've been up there anyway yeah, yeah. i mean there's so. still a handful of open stores but mm -hmm. um you know certainly not as many i know i went in the mall probably about six months ago to buy sneakers and it was probably one of three stores that was open right yeah a lot of the stores that are there now are like no name correct you know like yeah i'll i'll follow up with margaret on monday and um see how quickly they're moving on that letter but again you know we send a letter it's going to be in their their hand as to how and when they respond right thanks peg thanks peg <coughs> Now, Robin, those other forms, are those all, you, you said those all set for me to sign? Yep, those are all good to go. Okay. I will do that and drop them off for uh, June. Yes, yeah, so that's the form to cover the mall in case they can't pay, John will pay. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, no. Steve, oh, I no. thought you were paying this year. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm going to say both of them all. Okay, we have no bills to pay. Um, it was helpful to see that check that you sent, John. That made sense now with some of those forms that are coming in. So, because that right, one but I, is. But I just dropped that check off. I mean, it was dated it months ago, but I this, I just received the check in a packet like a week ago or so, maybe two weeks ago. But um, from from somebody in the town. Right, it's for the NOI that we're talking about in a little bit. Um, yeah, it must have been on their records because they put that in there like months ago and I was like I don't know what this is but that's what I was asking June about with that general revenue fund because I didn't understand what it was so now that makes sense because she said that it's a fund that you know these kind of things come in and out of so oh, maybe maybe Mike wrote the check twice um oh, well so the check check was dated for November and it posted I don't remember which month but it was like one of those November December ones that you gave me you want and to follow so with June and just make sure Mike doesn't get charged twice because that would suck. All right. Well, he is here. Yeah. All right. Um, but wait, what makes you think it was a second check? Because I had a piece of paper in my hand and I stuck it in an envelope and put it in the treasurer's box. And then it was after that you said, oh, now that makes sense. That's why I was confused. Well, no, it made sense because so that showed up on that general revenue fund summary thing that June sends, but I didn't know where that money was coming or going from. And so we had assumed that it was a check that you had for one of these, you know, for one of these types of things, but we hadn't seen it. So. Okay. So uh, I think it's fine. I think there should only be one check, but we just, I didn't, it showed up in the, in the ledger all right. like two I don't months know ago. If Mike's listening yet, but. <laughs> yeah, he's here. <laughs> um, make sure he doesn't get charged twice for that. That's all. Yeah, we will. Um, okay. Quickly, uh, mails and mail notices. Um, somebody from SVT is coming to do a CR monitoring of the Morse Woods land and the Peach Hill land on March 15th, which is a Monday. Um, if anybody wants to join them, I'm working, so I, I can't. But, yeah. What was the date? Um, March 15th. Uh, time's flexible. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe Liz could fly up. And it's uh, equal road. <laughs> She's due for one. Uh, Morse Hill, the Morse Woods, which is off of uh, Crosby. Um, 
and then you know Peach Hill, the new the new where the old Wendler thing was. Oh, and Peach Hill. Yes, he's going to do both of them. Okay. But also, there's a a notice um, that National Grid is going to do doing some of their vegetation management along their right of ways. And, yeah, I don't think we could do much about that. Um, also, Louise. Yes. Did you listen? To the, would you listen into the Board of Appeals? Um, last meeting. Pardon? Were you were you listening into the Board of Appeals on their uh, last meeting? Uh, no. In February? No, I was not. Because I, I received a, um, I don't know what you call it. It's a, the six, uh, some paperwork concerning 64 Banner Road, and it looks like the owner withdrew the permit application for a cannabis facility. Well, that makes sense with the issue they were having with the driveway with Marlboro. Oh, okay. That, that, that must be it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Board of Appeals also sent, sent some information about Benedict Albert's place. It looks like everything's going to be okay there. Um, oh, quickly on wetlands, um, Highland Ridge, um, Pat did do a visit recently because they didn't tell him not to. He had asked, you know, everything's stable. He, he commented that they'll have to do some dredging of silt and whatnot once everything wet. Um, um, melts. Um, I do not have an update on 100 River Road West. Um, I do have an update on 64 Banner Road. Um, they actually submitted uh, via mail and also then subsequently by uh, email um, a mitigate, what do they call mitigation, a response for enforcement order, restoration plan. And so we're, we're going to have a meeting on the 17th at um, 7.30. The plan looks good. It's very thorough. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, we don't have an update on 32 Allen Road, but we wouldn't expect one yet. Um, all right. We're a little early, but I, is Brian Waterman here? Yes. All yeah. right. Let's, let's start that up. This is a continuation of the COC request, the EP 1070229. Brian, you're muted. There you go. Oh, there you yeah. go. Uh, my video is not, I don't know what's going on with my video right now, but <clears throat> you probably don't want to see me anyway. Oh, that's not true. We love seeing you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with this silly thing. Huh. Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, 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 we're there. There we you got, were. And it's like a went. little... We little got a image. glimpse. There you go. There there is. Is. I think I've done this enough times. So. Um, yeah, so I'm just following up. Uh, I met uh, John and Walter out at the site today. There have been quite a bit of snow melt. Um, everything looks good, except we did find one small uh, breach at the one of the four bays in the back, um, the large infiltration basin. It's an area where a small, probably three to five foot wide, four inch deep part of the berm had washed out and then just spilled its gravel into the bottom of the main pond. Uh, it's not really affecting performance, but um, we wanna to try to fix that small area of berm. I spoke to the contractor Comley this afternoon and they're gonna commit uh, a crew and um, some bodies to go over and uh, and patch that with riprap, rip rip like we discussed uh, this afternoon. So that'll be done by the end of the day, Friday, this week. So I think that was the only outstanding item. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Let me just screen share uh, for.
for everybody. Okay, Brian? Sure. So, um, I'm going to make this a lot bigger. So, yeah, there are two. So, th there's, this re there's this retention area right here around here. And, um, this looks good. There, there's really no concerns about the structural integrity of this at all. Um, and then, you know, th this is the other infiltration basin here. Um, let me just draw that up a little bit. Um, so in the front of the property or the back? The front? This is in the back. Back, okay. Very, the back, very back, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the very back. Um, if for reference, the this is where the um, the canoe path path. to the canoe launch. And oh, okay, okay, be. all right. So it's down, up, down around that way. And th yep. you know, this is River Road up here. Got you. There, there's the derelict liquor store right right there. Mm -hmm. um, So these are the two four bays, um, which are sort of a curious fixture. You know, th there's a drain here and a drain here, and it, it essentially looks like a you know a way to slow down the, the the velocity of water by catching it and then having it flow over. Um, and the the breach is right here. Um, you can see there's, there's there's sort of some silt and stuff here. Um, the whole thing is kind of curious to me because I, I'm not really sure why they use gravel, what the long-term things are, or why they're even there over the long-term. This, this is all now grassed in. You know, they have the over the 100 year flood overflow <clears> thing <throat> here. They have the little um, pipe leach here, you know. And this, you know, the, air, the, the, the river bridge is essentially, the construction is complete. So there's not, they're not really gonna get um, much in the way of silt there, just water. These are the, um, these pipe there's there's a uh, there yeah. there's sumps there too that would catch any kind of garbage, mm -hmm. but you know there you know there is a breach there so you know we that we identified um, and so you know, the, the, I guess we had talked that he was going to contact the people and they're going to be out there by Friday, um, but every other than that everything looked good this is it's all just you know grassed in looks very very stable. Again, I, I think the four bays, one, they were designed for during construction uh, to trap sediment, and then they were cleaned out before that the as built was done. And as you pointed out, in, in the drainage train, you can see there, when we walk by that unit, uh, that contact, that's a, uh, the storm stepper. So that takes out velocities and traps sediment before it even gets. So I, I think, that, you know, the four bays were just left as it's just an additional, you know, protection area before it spills out into the main basin. Uh, it is, you know, it's 100, 180 feet long. So it takes a long time before it gets down to that other outlet. Uh, but it, you can see there are already grass. We can see in the bottom of the basin today. So even with the conditions we've had recently, it's, it's infiltrating. So, um, yeah, no, it, well, it I don't think performance wise, that's an issue. You know, it's not a, it's not a constructed wetland, so it's not that impact. It's just, I think it's, it's worth fixing. And then it, you have that berm around it. It's, it will add as a additional uh, stormwater treatment, if you will. Cool. Um, so what Brian, when, uh, emailed me that they were going to cut stop by on Friday. He made the suggestion that we could discuss the COC, you know, could potentially approve it, but that I wouldn't release any documents until um, I had verified that, or one of us had verified that the uh, the um, four bay had been repaired. Okay. Right. And I did ask them, you know, if, if they got out there today or if it's tomorrow, if, if they took pictures of it, if they could send it to me that way, if if people had conflicts getting out there, at least we we can see it. Um, if not, I can I can make the time to run up there when it's done and take pictures or or try to meet one of you out there if you'd like to do that. Okay. Yeah, um, Chairman. Yes. Yeah, I've been thinking about this a little bit more, and um, I mean personally, I don't see what the purpose of the four bay is, but as uh, Brian explained it, if it was during construction when there was a lot of silt around and it was a preliminary 
settling basin, if you will. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But I mean, look at the um, infiltration and the the uh, systems up on Randall Road Solar Farm, for example. They don't have things. I've never seen this before. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't be hesitant to suggest that we, um, you know, vote to um, give them a, give them a COC. Uh, pending your final investigation, look at that thing, just a simple repair of what's washed out, leave it at that. All right, sounds good. Agreed. Um, one other thing, so you know, this is where the um, new path goes down. Um, the, um, the erosion control measures are all along here and it, it's contiguous all along it just keeps going. Um, so, Brian, there's a um, ongoing condition check on this COC. You know, just to say that you know, when, once that, and what I what I would put in there is just if it's okay with everybody is that you know, once the um, uh, path is complete, then the erosion control barrier is removed from this entire segment. Um, it doesn't, you know, usually because we usually want the erosion control barriers removed when we're signing a COC, but since it's contiguous with what's with this, this part here, which is under an RDA, it would make sense to just uh, put in a statement about having it removed all at once. Right. And we'd want the grounds flawed <clears throat> to get it out of there. Right now, I, I don't think they'd be able to really remove it well, properly. That's, that's true, too. Um, right. Is it stabilized around? Oh, you can't see my pointer, but um, is it stabilized <laughs> around that portion oh, of the silk? It's yeah, all, okay. yeah, it's all yeah. grassed in. Yeah. It's all okay. grassed in. It's just, you know, the only risk is, you know, is just that it's, no one will ever pick it up. Right. You know, it'll, you know, it'll just, which is really a more, as much a problem for everybody that lives here than anything else. It's just it's not the prettiest thing, but um, yeah, but I no, think it's, it, it's completely stable here. It's, I, I walked over this whole area here. It's, it's completely stable. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think erosion. It's just that one area, John, where you know the path came in off the parking there that we talked about at the last right, week. Right, right. You have to fix that up a little bit. Yeah. It's dirt, fix the silt fence, and there the Conley's on board to do that as soon as you know the ground conditions allow. Um, and then in the spring, when you guys look at that for the canoe launch. Uh, and the ground is thawed, they could just rip out everything, you know, it'd be a lot easier and do it all at once. Yeah, I, I agree that would be a lot easier. Um, okay, so I'll just put that there's, like I said, you know, we can approve a COC with an ongoing conditions checkbox and we'll just do that. Yeah. Um, all right, so any other thoughts or comments? No, no, nope. sounds good. All right, uh, entertain a motion to, um, uh, accept the uh, to approve the COC um, with a comment about removing the um, silt fence, and with the understanding that um, it will not be given for signatures until um, we have on site verification that the four base has been repaired. Yeah. Right. Um, Second. There, okay. Any other concerns or comments? Concerned, uh, did Louise get all that? I didn't get who made the motion. <laughs> I did. Robin? Steve. Do he I did. sound like Robin? <laughs> Whoa, wait yeah, a minute here. More importantly, does Robin sound like you? <laughs> <laughs> thinking. Okay, so Whoa. Steve, uh -oh. I should have known either Steve or Liz moved and right. Liz <laughs> seconded. Not, okay, so the approve the COC with understanding, not signed until self verification of four bay repair until say that again verification of four bay repair okay and silt fence removal in the spring yeah that's that's a yeah that's a under the um ongoing conditions clause if you look at the form yeah, there, there's a separate checkbox down below. We could add all kinds of stuff in there, like donuts every every meeting. Virtual okay. donuts sounds interesting. Yeah. 
Well, once, Much once less fattening that way. <laughs> yeah. Margaritas at the canoe launch. Ooh. <laughs> now you're talking. I didn't right? say that. Did I? <laughs> All right. Roll call vote. John, I. Robin. I. Liz. I. Louise. I. Steve. I. Walter. I. Carolyn. I. So I didn't miss anybody, right? Okay. Right. All right. Cool. Oh, Ryan, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Always. All right. Take care. Stay safe. Yes. Yeah, you too. You too. All right. Bye, Bye, Brian. All right. Um, the next one uh, is an NOI, so we actually do have to wait till eight o'clock. Um, so, uh, uh, Louise, you want to talk about Earth Day? Um. Okay, I really don't have anything new. I haven't heard anything back from Peg about. Uh... Oh, there's Peg's hand again. Yep. Okay, yeah. so Peg was going to bring it before the um, board, a select board. I did, uh, and I asked them to put you on the agenda. Um, I did not see it for last week, so I will gently remind them or okay. ask them, I suppose it's more proper, um, ask them to put you on the agenda for this coming Monday. Okay. Great. Thanks, Louise. Mm -hmm. More donuts. All right, um, let me see. Walt, do you wanna talk about the snowmobile update on 40 caves? Yeah, um, the, uh, of course, there were two places in Berlin and both of them have uh, been dealt with from the point of view that the chief had one of the officers, Dave Goulding, go and speak to the residents where the snowmobiles were accessing the trails throughout the 40 caves uh, area. And um, the Clinton ones, uh, Clinton Conservation Commission has gotten involved in it and they're dealing with the two entries over there. So given that the snow is melting and everything else, I guess, I don't, I don't know what the response was when, when the officer talked to the people, but uh, at least he's talked to them. So that's tuned them up a little sensitized and a little bit to the fact that, uh, you know, they don't want them. Good. And well, and, and uh, you know, also it's maybe the same entrance points for ATVs too. Um, so. Right. Just easier yeah. to track in the snow. Yeah. I mean, it may be the same, you know, those same people may also be just using ATVs in the 40 Ks area. So it's, it's good. It's very good that. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was missing that, John. What about the same people in 40 Caves? Um, the people that are accessing 40 Caves with snowmobiles might also be accessing 40 Caves with ATVs. Oh, oh okay. Got it. Sorry. I didn't get the ATV there. Yeah. Um, well, it wasn't me. This time. Yeah, that's, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> The um, all right. So we'll, we'll just keep working on that. That's that's um great that you were able to work with the police department on that. That's, hopefully that'll work. They've been very cooperative. They good. Yeah. Um. Great. And and everything's posted now, right? All the all the signs are up. Every uh, location, even <laughs> even at the um, two houses in Berlin, where where the uh, where. The, the access is there's signs right there. They snowmobile right by them whenever they go in there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Walter. Um, the, the, the humorous part of it was, of course, the chief was up in northern New Hampshire snowmobiling for a week when uh, this was going on down here. But he, he's such a good guy, you know, very personable. And um, but anyway, he took care of it. Very, very willing cool. to do it. Well, snowmobiling is fun. Yeah, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, it is. But it is. You, oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta do it where you're supposed to do it. Right. Um, right. It was just funny. Yeah. Um, okay. Another uh, agenda item. We're waiting for eight o'clock. Um, just <coughs> an update on the wetland bylaw. 
Um, it, I did confirm with Margaret, it's on the warrant, the board, uh, select board is still reviewing warrant articles, but it, you know, uh, that, lat, that last version is on there. Um, and then um, remaining hopeful, um, the, I will be attending the ZBA meeting on March 10th, uh, next Wednesday. Um, it, it starts at seven, I'm not sure when I'd be up to just talk to them about the wetland bylaw. Um, people, you know, you know, if anybody wants to join me, hint, hint, Carolyn, hint, hint, Carolyn. Um, yeah, I was just gonna <laughs> ask if you want a company. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be great. ZBA, 7 p.m. Yeah. Oh, um, what's the date? Pardon me? On March 10th? Yes. Okay, I'll try to, um, to attend. Um, and then, you know, we had, we need to oh, start. Peg's, Peg's oh. hand is up again. Man. I know. I know. See, that's what happens when they make me your liaison. I'm going to be either your worst or your best nightmare. <laughs> um, <laughs> Carolyn, did you get all the, and everybody, did you get all the instructions on, you know, where to post and things like that for your town meeting to try and hit as many audiences as possible? Um, if that was in the thing that Margaret sent the training, no, no, no two different. No, oh, that's not in there. And so I had asked, um, I had sent it to you probably, I don't know, maybe the yeah. Monday after my BOS yeah, meeting, it. but it listed, thank you. It listed all the places okay. where you could try to advertise, you know, not just to re rely on Zoom, but get it out as many places as possible for public input. Okay, yeah, I'm still catching up on my email. I was in Florida last week. No excuses. And you are <laughs> correct. It's it's minimum of two weeks that you need to have the public hearing before um, the town meeting happens. Okay, a minimum of correct. two weeks. Correct. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. All right, yeah, we'll, so we we'll, should pick a date and yeah. make sure we'll it gets to... properly posted and all. Yeah, how do we... Because we uh, we need to reserve Zoom time. Just just contact Margaret; she'll set it up for you. Right. Yeah, either, so, so John, either Margaret or Mary or Leanne, and you can work with one of those three, and they'll get you set up with a public meeting. But definitely try to look at advertising either on your Facebook page, Berlin Connects, uh, Berlin Residents United. If you can get it early enough, get it into the item. Maybe even, uh, I don't know when Powderhouse News comes out, if that's a possibility, but, uh, you know, flyers, plop one down at the general store, maybe the post office, um, you know, just try and spread the word far and wide, get a hold of Brittany. Uh, yeah. for Powderhouse News has already come out from, or yeah. is already done from March and April. All right. Oh, uh, and April? Uh, it has not gone out as far as I know. Okay. It's published. It's I, I, it's published. It's ready. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, but, okay. I mean, there could be one for May, I guess. It, yes, there'll be one for May and June, and you have to get it in like two weeks before the end of April. Okay. So I have my calendar up right now. If town meeting stays on May, uh, May 3rd, yep. two weeks before that is the 19th. So if we schedule it, for our April, our first meeting in April, which is April 7th, is the, our meeting before that deadline. Should, that I mean, should, so does that make sense to you to hold it during one of the um, CONCOM meetings? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we all know we'll be here, okay. Right. Carolyn, you mm -hmm. might want to, uh, we're having coffee talk. We waited on coffee talk. We pushed it out this month to make it closer, closer, Jesus, to make it closer <laughs> uh, to the you know end of April to try and hit some of the article discussions for yeah. town mm -hmm. meetings. So we don't have an agenda yet. So I can slide you or John or anybody else in yep. for that. Yeah. I think it's going to be the 15th, uh, that oh, Thursday. Man. So again, it just gives another opportunity yep. uh, for you to get out there and definitely get in touch with Brittany once you guys can figure out a date, um, you know, have her get it up on Berlin Cable News 
so that I can just run so people can see it. The, the more ways you try to reach people, then the better opportunities you are going to have for people to come um, and then just not bombard you with town meeting with what are you talking right. about? Yep. No, absolutely. Um, I was, was wondering if talk? when April 15th, Good. I was wondering if there was going to be a coffee talk and yep. um, oh, there was something else you said that. And, and the item, get a hold oh. of Jan at the item. Yep. I don't know yep. if you want to do like a condensed uh, you know, John, I know that you put a summary together. I don't know if you want to publish that, but I would hit the item as well um, ahead of time. Okay, um, good. Thank you. Um, the Potter House may not come out in time. Right. Um, it, I'm like, I haven't received my copy of the Potter House news yet, and it's March yeah, it's 3rd. Yeah, so, and that, uh, that money may not come out in time. Right. All right. Um, but, you know, the item also has like a section of like a calendar where you could post um, the dates that you're holding some of these meetings. Right. Oh, that's right. a good idea. Well, we'd have yeah, to publish, and we'd have to publish the hearing. Oh, right. that, that's a good point. Carolyn, do you want to be in charge of publishing the hearing in the item? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Unless somebody else wants to do it, I can. Um, any volunteers? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll figure it out. Carolyn's good at that. <laughs> well, I just re realized if it's a hearing, it has to be published. Right. Correct. And it has to be posted in the paper, I believe. Peg, two do you weeks. know? Is it two weeks or a week? I'll confirm, but I want to say two weeks. Yes. Okay. But definitely, yeah, Carolyn, go through your email and, and find one from me. Um, okay. And it has uh, all the stuff that you need to do to have a meeting in it. And if there is a, something in there that's not there, just drop me an email, holler, text me, call me, and uh, I'll help you with that. Okay. Awesome. And Peg, you started to say Brittany for something? Brittany Blair. For the cable act yeah, access. For cable scroll. access. Uh, you know, to put that up there. And it might even be a good idea, Liz, if you can reach out to Brittany and see if um, she could tape it or just make sure that it's available, that it's just not on Facebook, um, you know, under social where you can review all the meetings, where you can see everybody's meetings, but see, work with her to see if she can get it up and on uh, cable TV as well for folks. Right, and they also put stuff on YouTube too. Yep. Uh, the only thing about putting it on the cable is that people have to know when it's on because, you know, it's kind of hit or miss to find anything on there right now. Yeah. But yeah, Brittany's definitely going to be your best asset for, for that. The more you outreach, the better off you'll be. Yep. I agree. Yeah, I, oh, that's what I was going to say is I had asked John if we had confirmation that it was on the warrant first before we started going well, they, crazy. So. Um, Excellent. Are you going to write up something, you know, to pass out to people? I suppose I'm going to have to. Right. Okay. Because it could go in 19 Carter. Um, I know somebody at Northbrook 2 and possibly Northbrook 1 who could maybe, um, you know, get it out to people there. What's, what are those two things? I don't know. Uh, the senior are. housing on Pleasant oh. Street. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, I know those places, but I mean, um, I thought that you were implying that there was a publication associated with them, or are you just talk about nineteen. Uh, well, I, I know someone who I, who I think would be willing to pass out, you know, pass to distribute it through her building. Oh, okay. In Northbrook yeah. too. Liz, what, what's the best way to reach um, the people up there on Soya Hill? Email. Just do you have an email list for everyone? Yep. Okay. I can blast it to everyone. 
That would be right. So we should put together a flyer that Liz can send to everyone, that Louise can get to Northbrook Village, that we put up in public places, um, that we put up on Facebook, that we, and then if we decide we're going to do some kind of mailing, um, mm -hmm. it'll be, we'll have some, a working summary. Yeah, we can do a meeting um, in Mosaic or Camelot, well, with COVID, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. But um, do we want to have Buzz make it pretty? Um, yeah, I, I have talked to Buzz a little bit, so. I haven't been there, but he seems busier or something. Uh, but maybe I know he he's got some that. stuff going on with his dad, but. Okay. Oh. And I'll be back April 1st, so. <gasps> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do my taxes. No, after April 1st. I know. Remember the April Fool's storm? Yes. I remember yeah. that. It was like cement. You needed excavation equipment. Mm -hmm. But I gotta do my taxes, so. <laughs> All right. Um, a couple more minutes before you. Um, just an update on the conservation agent thing. Um, so I, I had uh, met with FinCom, as I'd mentioned before, um, and then Mary Porter was kind enough to send a, uh, to sort of rework some of the material. I I just sort of written down a list of things that I thought, you know, a conservation agent could be um, responsible for. And she sort of rearranged it, which was good. Um, I, I had some issues with it. So I emailed her back and then we had a phone call today, um, which was encouraging. And so my next day, I, I need to talk to Margaret about a couple of things. Um, it, you know, I, I think that eventually this is something that will be achieved. It may take a little while. Um, it's partly difficult because of, you know, although everybody's worried about COVID-19 and budgetary issues. Um, but, you know, it, it certainly does make a lot of sense. Um, so I, I'm sort of still working on a sort of a final version of, um, you know, what the just job description would be like. Um, it's still a work in progress. Is there any chance of getting a copy of what it's like so far and what the reasons are for it? Well, um, yeah, let me just finish working on it. Um, the, um, I'd like to finish it up first, um, if that's okay. Is taking minutes on the job description? Would you like it to be? Ah, uh, yeah, I would. Okay. Yeah. All right. This then, yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> right. Well, that is the, that is what they do. I mean, that's you know, if you if you go in, if you observe a Northboro Conservation Commission meeting, you know, Mia is there and she takes the minutes, and you know, and she gets same she, with she, Hudson. Yeah, right. she funnels all that stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, there's, you know, there's hours and hours of works to do. Um, there's just, <laughs> yeah, so there, there's yeah. a lot of work. A lot of work. And there's a lot of work that could be done if it was someone whose job it was. We could be applying mm -hmm. for grants, we could be researching right. grants, there's all kinds of stuff that we just don't have yep. the bandwidth to do as volunteers that have full time jobs. Yep. And I feel like those towns are already mostly built out and Berlin's under attack more than those towns, maybe not Hudson, but. Um, well, the thing is, there's also just renovations. I mean, it's just, it's sort of endless. Anyway. Um, all right. It's close enough to eight o'clock. Um, so let's, let's get, let's switch over to the NOI. Um, and so which one is this? <clears throat> Unfortunately, it doesn't have a DEP number yet. Um, no, which address? Who's Allen the, Road. So is this uh, the Mike Sawyer's? It's Mike Sawyer's property. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so Mike is here in the audience. Okay. The other two, Steve Sears might be in the audience. There's somebody who's on the phone. 
that may be Steve Sears. And there, there also could be a Kevin Mark. But Just peg a phone number and Mike. Find out who the phone number is. Um, and of course, Mike. Yeah. Oh. Hi, this is it's Steve Sears from David Ross. Okay. Hey, there he is. <laughs> there he is. All right. And okay. there's Mike allowed to speak as well. Should he decide he would like to? Yep. Um, let me just go to my files because if he's on the phone, he's not going to be able to um, screen okay. share. Steve, I'm just going to change your name. Okay. Change my name? Yeah. Not you, Steve. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, um, actually, <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't look like Steve. I can. Steve one, Steve two. I'll be Steve two. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't allow me to change the name of talk. a phone number. We'll know. Just call him by yeah. his number. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. He's 508. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, so how do you guys want to run this? Do, uh, Steve, you want to present the problem? I can screen share if you sure. want me to. You won't be able to see oh, me screen I, sharing. I can... It'll be. Oh. Yeah, but uh, I've got the plan in front of me. Um, I can kind of just explain what uh, it's, what Mike's going to do here. There's an existing, uh, fairly existing car path up here. Mike wants to install this driveway. Um, it's going to run all the way up and back to a proposed house site um, that's probably about four or 500 feet up off the road here. But the only way to get there is the way we've shown it on this plan. Um, I understand you had a DEP. I haven't got a file number either. We did send everything to them electronically. So they, I don't know yeah. why it hasn't come back yet. Because that's the way but, it is. Um, um, yeah, yeah. They, I, they they have you rec they've recognized the NOI they have not a file assigned a file number I checked just two hours ago um, okay so we can't actually uh, vote on it till we get a file number but we can we can so we'll have to continue the hearing but we can get everything sort of settled before then um, it's just a formality um, okay um, yeah so anyways, down the road and Kevin, I'm just I, yeah. I just want to show them the screen. I just want to, if you'll allow me, Steve, sorry about that. Um, sure. Th so this is Allen Road. Um, this is the Mike's property here. I must say it is a beautiful piece of property if, you, if you're knowing, <laughs> looking for something. Um, th this is an easement that was um, in place, but they want to have their own driveway. So that's what this is about. Um, and so, and so this is a now this I'm focused on the picture of the of the driveway and this is the wetlands. Okay, go ahead, Steve. Please. Well, um we've um Kevin Mark actually at my office did the design for me. Unfortunately last week, last Friday was his last day. He's moving to Virginia to another job. So I told Mike I would uh, speak for him tonight. Um if you have any specific questions, I know he's on the other line there. Uh, from his house, but um, we we tried to stay out of the 25 foot no no disturb zone, and um, we showed uh, uh, infiltration trench along um, the proposed driveway and a siltation barrier um, all the way up from the edge of the pavement of the road Allen Road all the way up follows uh, if you can see it on the plan up past the uh, 100 foot uh, buffer zone. Once you get up past that, there's no wetlands up above. It's just all upland. And uh, Mike's got a proposed house site that um, he's planning on finishing the design on that. I've got the worksheet all drawn up, but we haven't gone ahead with the final draft yet for, this, uh, for the Board of Health. But um, it's kind of a uh, just a, a flowing driveway at the first hundred feet up and then it it climbs you can see as it climbs up the hill the grading uh, changes quite a bit but 
there's not going to be a lot of uh, grading involved in this driveway. It's just a little bit of a cut and just a slight bit of fill on the downhill side. But again, trying to stay out of the uh, 25 foot no touch. In fact, I think we're more like 35 or 40 feet out of it or from the um, BBW. Okay, can I speak? That's, what, that's, yes, that's about it. Okay, so yeah. I see that the, just, just so I can okay, look at the print here he's got online. So in the lower left corner is the wetland. Then I see the 25 foot no disturbed line. And then right above that is another dotted line. That's for the um, siltation. That's siltation that's, fence. And then the other yeah. one's catch barrier. So then on the beginning of the driveway, it looks like right there. What's that? Temporary yeah. construction entrance. The rock and stuff to keep the silt from washing out into the street. But in the end, it's going to be a tar driveway, right? Well, um, I would imagine eventually it would be, yes. There's a little construction entrance detail on the plan, too, over on the right-hand side, um, which shows what that material is for. And I believe that's working with the uh, highway department and everybody, um, it's kind of a, like a flat level area, so you're not going to have a lot of flow coming out. You're not going to have any flow coming out onto Allen Road for ice buildup or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Talk. You're free to talk. See, uh, this is can my... I can I add something to that, John? Yes. Um, that entrance at the beginning. That's. I don't know if it's mandatory, but it's what. Um, everybody likes to see now at the beginning of a construction site filled in with three by five stone or two by four stone so that it keeps all the mud from tracking out onto the pavement. Uh, yes, in the end, when this driveway gets paved, that will be paved over. But for now, that's the working driveway. Yes. Uh, Mike, do you want to talk about the info? infiltration trench a little bit? Yeah, that'll, that'll keep everything from, you know, any kind of washing or sediment going into the wetland. But uh, John, as you know, you saw what I did at Vince Aquarius driveway at uh, South Street. We're gonna do most of this driveway with an aggregate bed. So there won't be any chance of siltation at all anyways. And then with this infiltration trench, if there were to be any, which I'm pretty sure there won't be, that's what that infiltration um, trench will help catch. But then that'll put the water back into the ground before it gets into the wetland. Do you want to add anything to that, Steve? Oh, it looks no, good. That's it. Oh, sorry. Wrong, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, too. <laughs> John, I, I have. Here's... Yeah, go ahead. Um, Mike, the infiltration uh, trench is that going to stay part of the driveway after construction's complete? Yeah, that'll be that'll be a permanent um, feature rock trench that'll that'll stay, and you'll see a rock pathway like at the bottom of the slope. Nice. So, um, but I assume the construction entrance rock will not stay. Right. That usually gets paved over. That's, right. that's just to make it so, like I said, so when the trucks come out of there, if it was a, if it was a rainy day and they had mud on their tires or something, it gets right. cleaned off before it goes out onto the road because and we have to answer to the highway department that we're tracking mud right. onto Allen Road. So that's just right. a temporary, temporary construction entrance, as they call it. Yep. I guess I would be a little concerned about, um, you know, after construction. I, I can't quite tell how steep it really is. I know that uh, topo lines are there, but if that was paved and you know say there was a heavy rain would that rain wash directly into the wetlands no because on the on the left side of the driveway going up that'll go all into this rock 
and then seep down into the rock and into some of the ground before. Right. So, but even right it, at the street, or oh, is right, it here, right here, right yeah. here. Um, well, that'll be just like any other driveway. That'll be flat for a little while, but um, there won't whatever rainwater comes out of there won't be any more than what would come out of any typical driveway. But it's not particularly sloped into the wetlands right there, I guess is my oh. concern. No. Okay. That's that's all flat. Okay. And the um, driveway is not going on the other side of the lot because again, because of the topography of the lot. Yeah, this this was this fits the topography on the right side of the wetland fits it better than on the left side. Okay. Well, it's not your, it's a different part, piece of property over here. No, yeah, if, you, if you look, if you look on the locust map. Yeah. Go back to the this, locust. Zoom in this on that. is in the lower left part of the property as opposed to the upper right. This is hill. Okay. That's what I hillside. couldn't yeah. quite because the map didn't really bring the topography through the whole lot. So yeah. Um Wal Walter and I did a anticipatory site visit with Mike um in November or something. I don't know. November. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Um and you know basically this is the sensible place the way i saw it is it's pretty flat here this is a sensible place to put it but this side gets real steep it's actually this beautiful rock formation you know um it's just fabulous um but it, you know this is it it flattens out here this seemed to be the only sensible place to put the driveway from allen road oops sorry about that um while maintaining you know without crossing somebody else's property you really couldn't put it up here okay just curious yep and can that, i ask it, um, the, the watershed area that would drain onto that road in that area anyway it is very small that's it isn't like you know it isn't like granel road or something it's a very uh the watershed area isn't much wider than um two or three times as wide as a driveway at that particular point and so there isn't it isn't going to be like the whole lot washing down that driveway anyway. It won't be much. And to go out the other side towards West Street, you know, it's a long way. And I think you've got to cross. There's a wetland crossing. Yeah, there there yeah. anyway. So right. the, this is the only uh, entrance to that lot. Yeah, okay. it, it is the so sensible thing to do. Um, Steve? Yeah. Steve, one or two. Uh, the phone number, Steve. So Thanks. Yeah, that's me. Um, one discrepancy between the written part and the map. Um, you know, the map has the you know the silt fence and straw waddles, which is always makes us happy. Um, the NOI itself um, only talks about straw waddles. Um, um, oh, I, I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that. Um, I would go with whatever the commission, uh, if you want to write it, when you write your order of conditions, we can specify that it has uh, both. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, the good thing is, you know, um, that it's on the map because um, a lot of people right. look at, they'll, they'll look at the, the plans. They won't actually read the, NO, uh, the NOI. But so this is good. Well, I just wanted to point that out that there was a discrepancy there. Well, plus, yeah, I didn't realize that, but plus the uh, the other good thing is the person on the other phone is the one that's going to be doing this. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. John, <laughs> so, John, you want both silt fence and wattle. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, yeah no, no problem. That's that's pretty much yeah. automatic anyway. Okay. Well, you really do uh, that, things, don't you, John? Uh, <laughs> I say you really uh, do we, these things with a magnifying we, glass. We, <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah, we like to maximize uh, something. Anything like this is close. We like to show both. I didn't realize Kevin had just typed the uh, a one and not the other. So yeah, and again, Mike's going to be putting it in. So 
Um, the dangers of cut and paste. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, that question? You yeah. yeah. Question if you could move back to the um, other view of the, yeah. So um, just so that I'm seeing the numbers right. So at the bottom of the driveway, it's 86. And then it goes up right. to up, 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 up. What's at the top? It's the highest. The highest looks like 95. Are you talking about here? Oh. Yeah. And the, this Top part of the here driveway. Is... Go up the driveway. I can't oh, see. Oh, this way? Yeah. Oh, 95, yeah. 95. Okay. So like 10 feet difference. And um, how wide is that? Um, I'm pointing on my screen. Does <laughs> I, know that. It's, I know it's four feet it's deep. How wide? Yes, it, yes, it, it, it uh, evaporated. Oh, the driveway or the trench? The trench. The trench, trench detail says two feet wide. Two feet. Two feet and four yep. feet deep. Okay. Okay. And Just the wide. width of the driveway is 12 feet. Okay. Yeah, it's not four feet deep, though, Liz. It's two feet deep. On two the feet deep. thing, it says oh, four no. feet. No. Where does it say four feet? Oh, four inches deep, one eighth, one. What the that's P stone the, is going to be four inches. There's P stone over stone. Oh, four inches over. Right. The trench stone. is two by two. Got it. Four inches. Got it. Or two by one. Looks like, but. Mm, doesn't it say two feet right in the middle? Oh, you it can't. does. It's not to scale. Downs. Somebody doesn't know how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Portions are a little off. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, it should be of equal width and depth. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks for the clarification. Yep. Um, could I have the information on the plans? Like when were they drawn up and by whom? I emailed it to you. You emailed them? I already did. Right, last okay. Week. If you check, everybody was emailed this last week. It'll be, yep. it'll be. Okay. Um, all right. So uh point of protocol so we don't have a dep number everybody sounds like they're think this is, they think this is fine can we vote now and then just have it signed when a dep number arrives or do we have to wait till dep number arrives to vote put on it pending the dep huh? number all right yeah so let's do that so i'll entertain it so get yeah, john work. john before you go there can i just ask one question please that that stone basin, which is perfect. What? Why did it stop where it stopped going down the driveway? Is there a reason why it stopped there and not kept going? Oh, that's the, the trench right here. Yeah. Why did? It, why is it? I'm just curious. Why would it stop there? Mm -hmm. That's a good question, Mike. Why, why would? It, why not extend it? We can. There's no big deal to extend it. Okay. Right. I would feel more comfortable right. if it was extended personally. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's no problem. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll extend them. Go ahead. Extend Thank you, it Steve. to the end or extend it to where? Till it's fully flat, probably. I can ex I can answer why it did stop there. It's it's at a eighty seven contour, and if you follow it downhill, the next contour is eighty seven too. So it was kind of dead flat there. But like Mike says, he can extend it to whatever you want. Yeah, eighty seven, oh, okay. eighty seven. Yeah. Right. It looks nicer, but anyway. So, um, entertain a motion to it. Um, a move that we vote to approve COC. this pending uh, the receive, re receipt of the um, number from DEP. Great. Is there a second? Second. All right. Any other discussion? Third. Yeah, excellent. Um, all right, roll talk, roll call vote. John, aye. Carolyn, aye. Liz, aye. Walter, aye. Steve, aye. Louise, aye. Robin, aye. Did I miss anybody? All right, good. Okay, um, so Mike and Steve, when um, I'll have it all written up, um, and when I get to DEP number, I'll have that typed in and then we'll get signatures and we'll be good okay all right thank you everybody for your time oh thank you
Having a lot of meetings, Mike having a, Mike having a lot of meetings with you lately, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you and I are on a lot of, <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Thank, yeah. thank you and everybody stay safe. Yeah, thanks Steve, you too. You too. All right. Okay. Bye, Steve. See you Steve yeah. one, see Bye -bye. you Steve two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care. Right, bye -bye. Does that mean I can say bye too? No. Mm. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Nice okay. try, pal. <laughs> <Let him. laughs> you can say bye too to Steve too. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well, thought I'd try. Um, okay. So is Alex here? No, not yet. Hmm. Um, so let me just check my email again. So, he didn't confirm. So the last, some email exchanges occurred this morning um, where he was emailing, uh, I'm like, Susan, not sure who's. Um, anyway, explaining that he was, you know, the attorney working with uh, Holmes at Highland Ridge. Um, some question about the trails in the various zones and stuff like that. I was going to ask about the details. Um, the it doesn't look like the conservation restriction is well changed from what we well it hasn't changed since the last time we talked about it with them um it may be that without a clarification of the trails he's just still waiting um so um i don't know he didn't confirm that he was going to be here he didn't deny it either we can wait a few more minutes did you have a time set 8.30, that was his appointment time. Oh, we can hang um, in for tank. You can sing for us at the 8.30. You don't want that. Well, I gotta, yeah. I'll, I'll mute my mic. They, they have to listen. I have to I'll mute my mic. All right. I'll, yeah, turn off my volume. <laughs> uh, oh, I, does anybody, I could ask some, uh, Walter or Louise may know this. Um, so Berlin Farms, um, you, you know that little pool at the corner of Walnut and Sawyer Hill, um, where there's you know there's a little body of water there with some ducks and everything. That's Berlin Orchards, not Berlin Farms. Thank you. Thank you, Peg. I believe was that Peg. You can unmute us now, but I thought I'd take that advantage. I, I grew up on Wallace Street, so that's why I wanted to let you know that's Berlin Orchards, not Farms. Well, thank you. Who's talking? Janet. Janet. Oh, thank you, Janet. Yeah. Mike's um, better half. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> so is uh, that no, the one you mean, John? No, apparently I was wrong. It's Berlin Farms, um, which is interesting because right. I, I don't even know. Is there a pond on? Oh, the Swan Pond. Does anybody know the history of the Swan Pond? No. Mm. Are you talking Berlin Orchards or Berlin Farms? Now Could I'm you? talking Berlin Farms. I thought I. Okay. Yeah. So no, the Swan the, Farm, the Swan Pond is a man made pond that was put in when it was originally Berlin Orchards. And that pond, uh, Walter, is the one that sits in front of the maple syrup house. Right? Mm -hmm. Like when you pull in. Yep. Yeah, they oh, used to have geese and yeah, stuff, yeah. and you could bring that, your kids over yeah. and have the I, geese bite I, I'm them. I'm almost sure it's man. It was. It. I don't believe that pond was there when I grew up. It, if it was, it was like the size of a dime, and they enlarged it. But I believe that was man-made. But you know who might be able to answer that? Mike, and he he is not here at the moment. So you keep talking you and I'll him? get him. Yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> what what's uh, your, what's the question? Oh, it's a lawyer's question. They just want to know the oh. history of the place, like how long it's been there and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a little confused over 25 about years. Berlin Farms and Berlin Orchards, okay? That whole property was Berlin Farms. No, 
it was Berlin Orchards originally. Right. <laughs> and when and when it got separated, um, Jerry kept Berlin Orchards as the original name, and Jennifer took Berlin Farms for the old um, house on the corner. Right. Right for the building and for that the building, side. Correct. The right. plumber house. The okay. plumber house. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. So Janet, you believe that was man-made, but you don't know. Yeah, but when. it's been there. It's been there well over 20 years because um my oldest son will be 20 in in uh next December and it was there before he was born. Yeah, and Savannah's 23 and I used to take her there to feed the yeah. geese. So I'm gonna guess it's 25. Well, I would guess if you can look back and see when Mr. O'Brien actually purchased uh, Chedco Farms, it went in shortly after that. And that was a long time ago. Right. That was and back it, when it's he... illegal wetland. It's a, a legal wetland for sure. But that's what the lawyer wants to know. Um, I, I, it's, he was cannier than that. He, oh. he, he didn't. Um... Yeah. And then over on. So Sawyer Hill Road goes up in between Berlin Farms and Berlin Orchards. Right. And on Berlin Farms in the back yeah. on Sawyer Hill Road, there is a wet area. There's a little pond back there. One of the no, no. When I reread the email, because I, I didn't give it a lot of thought before, frankly, and I did, I was getting confused between Berlin Farms and Berlin Orchards because, hey, you know. Um, when I reread the email, it, it really is about a car crash into it and so they that you know somebody needs to repair like the fence and the question is is there a plastic liner to the pond oh no no <laughs> there is That's some a, form of a liner in there i i've seen i it. think yeah really yeah there is oh, okay. some I, i'm not i don't know if it's plastic or what but there definitely is <laughs> some type of a liner in that pond oh. okay That's can you remember okay. seeing that carolyn yeah, I do. Yeah, there's definitely some, you know what, let me go get Mike. God, I'm going to take a ride up there. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was there. We we looked at that when they wanted to strip it. But the first way back when they wanted to put a uh, tree farm in there, they wanted to strip all the topsoil. And then, uh, then they put the horse farm in. So we saw all that okay. pond. Oh, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't remember, I'm trying to remember if I saw plastic or not. But I remember that pond there. Right. So the pond is not is on what is now Berlin Farms. Farms behind the house. Yes. In the back. Right. Okay, let me, I just brought Mike in. The question is, somebody went into Jennifer's pond at Berlin Farms. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer's pond, this, this, the, the, oh, the Berlin, 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 Berlin Farms, Orchard. not yeah. Berlin Orchards. The little Berlin pond Orchard. in the parking lot. A little lot. pond. Who built that? And is there a liner? Because I remember seeing a liner when I brought the kids down there. Did you put that in? Is this the one right behind the building wall? Yes. Yeah, right behind that, the White House. Plumber's house. Yeah. Not Jerry's, Jennifer's. I don't believe a liner on the bottom of it. Is that what you're asking? Yes. yes. That's one question, yeah. There is one. How, how long has that sucker been there and is, is there a liner? I don't believe there is, but Walter, didn't when Skip Duggan was on the Commission, didn't you guys have me do something down there? Yeah. If you don't remember it, I don't, Mike. Uh, I know I did some work down there, and I'm yeah. trying to think why. Is that for the horse uh, ring? Not the... the horse ring is way, way back further out on the property. Mm -hmm. But I think that's the work that you did. No, I didn't do any work on the, on the horse ring down there. I did some work right in that wetland. And um, bring me up on this conversation that you're talking about, because I don't know how this, I was just gone for a few minutes, so I didn't catch all of this. Well, it seems like a car might have gone, went through the fence into that pond okay. or did some damage. So we're just, I guess- Just recently, you mean? Uh, in the winter. A couple of months, yeah. The lawyer didn't specify. Were you, Mike, were you involved in that septic system that was put in for the White House that went across the street? Yes, I did that septic okay, system. Okay, so that's your work. Okay. Is that got something to do with the... No. Uh, so, the so, um, so the, one question is, 
he's trying to determine if it has always existed or was built. So we, we've decided the pond was built, but it was yes. built a long time ago. Um, and it says there is some sort of line in certain areas, but it's unclear if it is under the entire pond, but we don't know that either. Um, so, so what is the problem going on though? I guess that's what I- it, 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 Somebody needs to pay probably for have repairs. to repair it. Somebody needs to pay for repairs. And so the lawyer's just asking. And then would, would repairs require a wetland filing? I don't think so, would it? On a man-made pond? Yeah. If it is man-made, which we believe it is. I don't know. You'd have to ask the Conservation Commission that question. <laughs> you know anybody that knows what's Those going on Those guys don't know anything. Gee, this <laughs> sounds like the Earthworks Committee. <laughs> um. I mean, I, I guess I guess my answer would be no, unless they're like digging it all up and they're going to make a mess. And yeah, if you're going to do something that's going to cause siltation in the pond, then exactly then needs yeah. to be something done. <laughs> is is it up to them to hire an engineer or wetland person yeah. to kind of look at it? Isn't our responsibility to well, look that back is true. history and let them come before us? If they're going to do anything, they have to come before us with a plan. But we don't have to put their plan together for them. Um, yeah. That is true. I so um, I was reading that a man-made structure can be considered wetland. I read that about a week or so ago. But yeah, I'll just let them know that it's been there for a while and we don't really know much about it. OK. But, but if it is a liner, then it, then it wouldn't, right? There, there's no uh, liner. There's, there's, no there's no liner in that. My guess. They're always <laughs> wet it Looks like it's two to two, Janet. Well, I, I agree with you, Walter. There was originally always a wetland as long as I remember. That. Right. And they merely mucked it out a little bit, apparently. Right. And, and if it was a wetland, it held water. I don't know why there'd be a liner under it now. It would hold water all the time. Anyway. Well, I, yeah, I think to make it a year round duck pond is why they might want to line it. Oh, they want to they want to line it. That, no, I, no. It, why they would line it. Oh, yeah. Um, because that's what it always was. It was a little attraction there in the parking lot. Whoa, are you talking the one in the parking lot or the yeah. one behind the building? No, the one be in the well, parking lot. We're talking lot. the one right in the parking lot, Mike. That's oh, why oh, you're okay. so now, messed up. I'm like, right. I'm trying right. to be. Oh. Trying to help you it's, here. So but... it's not the one behind the building. No, because no, that it's one's one, definitely a wetland. It's the one in the parking. Correct. Lot. Yes, yep. that was made into a, 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 a that was made for a duck. Pond. And it has a liner. It might have a liner. I didn't make it, but okay, we're talking about a different pond than I was. Yeah. Thinking. Okay, I was confused also. Yeah, the other one is where the pigs the pigsty used to be. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, I believe there is a pipe that flows into that pond. The one you're talking about in the parking lot, and then I think mm -hmm. there's an outlet too. Mm -hmm. That might be, yeah. Now yep. that you say there that, is. but that is a duck pond. There's, there's always been ducks in there. Excellent, uh, John. Attorney Para is here now. Oh, yeah, we're on. Good. Right okay. Um, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Mike and Janet. Hey, John. Yep. Um, I've got Krista on the phone and she needs a link to get on. She thought it was yesterday or something. I don't know what the confusion is, but anyway, can you I'll send, send her? I'll, I, sent, I sent it to her, but I'll send it again. Did you hear that? Oh, she, she said you sent her an invitation for yesterday and she just tried to get on and it won't let her get on. It's because it's for the executive session and that it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. The meeting's so, not open yet. The date is incorrect, but we still will use that same link. Go ahead, Krista. Yeah, in a few minutes, a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah, bye. All Move right. right along. Okay. So, Alex Para. Okay, I'll promote him. Can I get promoted? No. 
Oh. <laughs> Careful, I'll demote you. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> What's below private? <laughs> Peeling potatoes. I don't know. <laughs> uh. What time the agenda now? I didn't download it, unfortunately. So I didn't. Um, Alex. Alex. Uh, the home to Highland Ridge conservation restriction. Um, hi, Alex. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I'm glad you see you dressed up again. Yeah, Keeping that image. Myself now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good news and bad news. <laughs> okay. So the good news is I solicited a number of land conservation trusts um, all of whom said they would love to be the monitor, but they don't service or work in Berlin. Don't know what you guys, you know, did to offend them all, but uh, <laughs> there we are. So uh, I think we're in Germany. Has, yeah, <laughs> the client has agreed to pay the monitoring fee up front. Um, Can so I interject something right there? I, I mean, I can't imagine a trail system when the people living there wouldn't maintain it themselves. I mean, this is not a big deal, getting yeah. someone to maintain that trail. But Walter, we're talking about different things right now. This is, the monitoring. We're, this is about the, the SCT conservation monitoring thing. We'll get to the trails in a sec. I'm sorry, Walter. Um, my apologies. All right, go ahead, Alex. So the, the bad news is that um, in connection with an application to, um, you know, amend the plans for the uh, water supply. Uh, DEP has now decided um, that they have or may have an issue with having a conservation restriction uh, encumbering a zone one uh, wellhead protection area. Um, you know, this is a question I raised with DEP back in October as to whether they wanted uh, zone one restrictions. They said no, uh, because you're maintaining ownership of the area. Um, but today I learned that now, not only with respect to this particular project, but generally um, whether they are going to allow the conservation restrictions on uh, wellhead zone one areas generally. Um, so the first question they asked is, um, would the town be averse to removing the zone one from the conservation restriction? Um, and I assume or presume your answer would be yes. And so the second question is going to, if, if that's in fact the case, um, I'll go back to DEP tomorrow and say precisely that. And what's the issue? Because the zone one restrictions are essentially the same as a conservation restriction. Um, so I just don't have an answer uh, on that right now and the issue only came up for me today. Doesn't the conservation restriction exclude that area anyway, specifically? No, it, what, it, what it excludes or what it permits is the in, within the conservation restriction zone one area to install, maintain, alter, et cetera, you know, public works. Right, I thought there was something about that. Yeah, um, and um, additionally, if the if for some reason the wells fail, that we would have a right to relocate. Um, but uh, so I don't think there's anything inconsistent with the conservation restriction and DEP Zone One regulations. But I guess they're going to need to go figure that out right now. Um, how much of a chunk of the land is the zone one? So it's, um, if 
if you remember the part, the, the plan is the parcel B uh, hooks up and abuts the parcel D. And it's that hook at the back. I don't know, you know, precisely what the area is, but it, I, I think it's, you know, probably four or five acres. Um, um, but I don't have a specific figure. So, yeah, let me um, screen share. <clears throat> so this is the well area. Yeah. Um, there's two wells here and here. So these, there's the two circles. So they, we have these two circles here, but then there's these larger circles. So which area is it? I think the zone one is the is the in, inner circles, the two inner circles. Right here. Yes, and so if you uh, if you um, the, the the area that I think they would want to exclude from the CR would be those uh, two inner circles and. Um, you know, perhaps some some additional area. Maybe this thing here. Well, that's the that's the um, that's the drainage structure, but yeah. Um, so that would be. I mean, I mean, the, the rest of the area would still be under conservation restrictions outside of the building envelope, right? Yes. You'd just be like a bullet hole in the middle of the conservation restriction <laughs> yeah so, so, um, and, the, and the DEP zone one regulations um, you know are, are very much like a conservation restriction There's very little you can do uh, in the area in fact when when you have cases where uh, the well is going to be on separately owned property. Um, DEP has a has a set of um, restrictions uh, that are required to be imposed that look very much like a, you know a standard conservation restriction. So, um, so what do you propose, Alex? Well, the, uh, the first question I need to answer is uh, for DEP is uh, would the town be adverse to removing the zone one from the conservation restriction? If the answer to that is no, then DEP will say, okay, take it out and we don't have any issue with the conservation restriction. If the answer is you want it subject to the conservation restriction, then DEP is going to go spend some time reviewing the conservation restriction and I, I presume to make sure they're satisfied that um, you know it provides adequate protection for the zone one. I'm not worried about a great deal of harm being done in that area if we allow it to be taken out. You had a wellhead protection zone, and like um, you said, it's pretty well protected as much as the CR almost. Why make it um, difficult? I'm inclined to agree with you, Walter. As am I. I would. Ready for a motion? I, I guess. Any other thoughts? I don't even know if we, um, yeah, yeah, good. Any other thoughts? I just wondered why it says proposed zone one. What does that say? 250 proposed zone one. So I, I think it says radi uh, R equals, so I would assume radius 250 mm. feet. Yeah. And then there's another one, and then there's a. Right, so see the, the two dots the in circle. the middle, Liz? Those yeah, are the I two wellheads. Yeah, yeah. So the two circles are 250 feet with that in the middle. Okay. There's just another. Okay. So they just they wrote it twice outside the Okay. That's what it looks like, yeah. 
Well, th this one refers to this one. This one refers to that one. Um, but anyway, any, any other thoughts? It's going to be a funny shape. Yeah. It, is. Yeah. it looks like a snake head at the top with the two wells as eyes. Yeah. <laughs> You've been in Florida too long. <laughs> yeah. I saw I saw a snake today. A big black one. Nice. The motion. So, okay, so the mo there's a motion uh Walter made that um we essentially accept that the the zones the zones one will be removed from the conservation restriction. The 250 feet, right? Right, so the right. zone one only refers to the wellheads, correct? Yeah, it's a, it's a radius around the wellheads. And so we have the two right. circles because they're two wells. So, right. so yeah. that's the only thing that would be pulled out though. There's nothing else called zone one. C correct. Um, and, and um, uh, this plan, I mean, it shows it as proposed. I assume the the wells have been located, and therefore, we would know exactly what zone ones are. You know what I would I would love is a almost a shaded thing of what the conservation restriction is and isn't. Hmm, a colored picture would be nice, but or even somebody with an arrow. We can do that. Uh, yeah. Run your, run your arrow over where the CR border is. It's right here. Yeah. There it that. is. John, can you zoom out on that picture? On that? Like that, you mean? Yeah. Right. No, yeah. It's just. No, he can't. So well, what are the boundaries? Right. This is the property boundary. OK. And the CR is. It, it's not this part. It's this part and this part. Okay. Um, there, there's other pictures, but I, I don't want to. Okay. These things. Minus I, the circle it, now. Yeah, you can get right. lost in the details here. But um, the, here's here's one. It's it's. I don't know if I can. Right. So, so it's everything parcel except B for. Parcel B and parcel D are in the conservation restriction. Um, Parcel B goes up into this, it's sort of funny shaped. Parcel C is where, where the buildings are. The wellhead area is here. Okay, so B. So the wellhead area is within the conservation yes. area. Yeah. Yes. Currently, yes. yes. Right. That's it, the document specifies that they have access to this area for the well. Um, so the, the wellhead's about here. So we, we allow that, and then there's a the stormwater management structure here so the conservation restriction would be all this okay. minus minus a hole right in the front right, right minus <clears throat> okay so b and d minus a hole thank you right. that's helpful to me you are welcome um so there's still a motion uh which walter made that we basically accept the bullet holes um i second Okay, is, is there any further discussion? Um, no, the DEP takes good care of that, right? Yep. Uh, okay. right, presumably. Um, all right, roll call vote. John, aye. Carolyn? Aye. Liz? Aye. Louise? Aye. Walter? Aye. Um, Robin? Aye. Steve? Aye. Okay. All right, Alex. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. As Good always, time. it's been a pleasure. <laughs> As always. Yeah. All right. So we'll be in touch. We'll, we'll plug along. All right, kids. Um, <clears throat> now we need to take a vote that we're going to move into executive session to discuss land acquisition, land preservation issues. Actually, that's the way of putting it. Um, so this has so to be moved. a roll. Okay. Second, third, yeah. and fourth. Any discussion? Ask me roll call vote. Carolyn? Aye. John? Aye. Robin? Aye. Liz? Aye. Louise? Aye. Walter? Aye. Steve? Okay. Bringing up the end, aye. Okay. So we've had that vote, um, and now we can vote to terminate this meeting. <laughs> so
So the motion should actually say without going back to the regular meeting. Oh, uh, okay. Good catch. Woo, she's Woo. A, wow. I Sun knew we fire. kept you for a reason. <laughs> oh, my God. John. Well, that and the cookie. Peg, oh, never mind. That must have been what Peg was raising her. Oh, now Peg's raising her hand again. <laughs> Carolyn, I just want to wave at you. No, um, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that Louise was spot on to so that you guys say that you are not coming back into public session and you will adjourn from your executive session. Correct. Okay. okay. So All right. should remove, we should, should we move this sucker again? Sure. So yeah. moved. Right. Is there a second? Second, third, and fourth. All right. So Carolyn. Aye. John. Aye. Robin. Aye. Liz. Aye. Louise. Aye. Walter. Aye. Steve. Bringing up the rear, aye. All right, all right. All right. Now, <laughs> now <laughs> right now, <laughs> motion to adjourn. Yes. Is there a second? Second. Second. Any concerns? Slow, slow. <laughs> all right. That's because Local of vote. Florida. Roll call vote. Steve. Aye. Walter. Aye. Louise. Aye. Liz. Aye. Carolyn. Aye. Robin. Aye. 